Hey, Gemini, it's with a reading for Gemini. This could resonate with anyone who has Gemini in their chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Um, I am just going to go right into this, Gemini. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. What is the situation around Gemini, please? What is the situation around Gemini? What is the situation around Gemini? There is an energy swing here for this group of people. Um, whenever I um, sneeze in readings or when I, um, it, it seems like when readings, when I have a sneeze or I feel like I'm going to sneeze, it's like an energy change. Two nights here. All right, let me. I feel it's an activation of your masculine energy, activation of your yang energy. Um, that's what I feel because I, I had an energy current running through my right side, which for me is an indication that you're going to be getting up and going. You're getting up and going. There's something here that um, is, is quite apparent for you, Gemini. Um, it's, it's your truth. There, there's an answer coming in for you um, with the star energy. It's helping re you realize something. It's helping you realize something that is going to bring balance in for you, um, equality in the situation, something that's going to be fair for you. Um, it, it probably has to do something with money or with the resources that are around you. Um, Six of Pentacles is something we can touch, feel, see, experience, hear. It's something that brings in um, a sense of stability, a sense of fairness, something that is beginning to feel right again. So you have some sort of um, something becoming clear to you. It, it's something that it, there's there I, there's more here to be found in the star. So we're going to dig into the star energy. Um, it's sending you into action, Gemini. So you're you're heading into action. You feel great about this. Whatever it is, you feel very passionate about it. You're excited about it. You're getting yourself. It, it's like you're setting forward into sun. It, these are two very passionate energies. You could have a partner here um, that you're you're setting forward in a journey with, whether it's a love relationship or a new job or a business that you're starting or a hobby that you're working on. Um, something that you're doing that's bringing in balance and, and something that you're feeling good about. Um, we'll dig into these two energies as well. So the energies I'm going to dig into now is the star energy. I'm going to dig into the six of pentacles. I'm going to dig into to all these energies. So I'm going to pull two cards for each one of these, even the hang band here, because there's something here you're realizing. So let's start with this car star, um, and we'll pull two cards for each one of these energies, and we'll just start digging deeper. Um, I don't see uh, Aquarius. Uh, I don't see Gemini. That there's anything here that's slowing you down. It's like you don't have time. It's something here like you don't have time. The time is now. Like it's it's not allowing me to move slowly through this reading like I normally do. Hangman now. Hangman. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, please. Knight of Swords. I'm going to put these up here. Knight of Swords. I mean, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, please. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Knight of Swords, please. Knight of Swords. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and get going. So there's something here. 
that you're connecting with that is truly something that is meant for you or it's it's like you're stepping into your own you're stepping into a new version of yourself you've healed from something from the past and we when we go to clarify the star energy we get the wheel of fortune and the nine of swords so something that you have been worried about something that has been bringing anxiety to you it's now moving forward there's momentum here there could be an answer here there's there there are things happening now that um you could even be worried about what's ever happening to you you know you could be feeling some anxiety about this and you could be keeping it um, um, open. You could be feeling very open, very vulnerable, very, um, with the star energy. There's nothing that you really hide about yourself with the star energy. You've healed from something. And in that healing, in that new Phoenix rising from the ashes, you've realized that your truth is your truth. There's no more hiding it. There's no more keeping it under wraps. There's no more putting it in a box. It's like, it's open. It's glorious. It's vulnerable. It's who you are. There is something here that's moving forward here with it, with the wheel of fortune. This could be um, some, a stroke of, of luck that you're stepping into. This could be something that's finally happening for you. Something from the past is being solved. Um, you do have the nine of swords here. I want to go into the nine of swords just a little bit more. Um, why the nine of swords? Why the nine of swords? There's something very intense happening here with the, um, with with the energy, the yin yang energy or the lover's energy here, Gemini, it is your energy. So it's you that's worried. It's you that's anxious. It, um, it could be with a partner here, um, but you're, but you're moving forward through that. So you're overcoming. Okay. That's what I thought when I first, when I first entered into this, you're, you're moving through this situation that had so many, so much anxiety and stress for you. You probably couldn't sleep. You were, um, really didn't know what you were going to do with this situation. And now there's some sort of answer, some sort of information coming through or money coming in or luck coming in here, or just this situation finally moving forward. And in a way that helps you move forward with peace. It's something that has to do with your truth here with the six of swords, something that brings you into a much more peaceful place into a smoother part of your river. Not so many rabbits here. So um, I, I do feel like this is almost like a devil energy with a lover's energy. It's very intense, um, very intense situation that you've moved through here. Um, and you've really healed from it. You have found yourself, you've connected in with, with who you are and your destiny and it feels quite good. Um, so that's, that's where, that's how we start this reading with the star energy. Okay. We're starting with the star. Now we're moving into the hanged man and there's some sort of a real realization here that you have. Um, you have it with the queen of pentacles and the two of wands. So, um, Gemini, I feel like, I mean, there, there really is a life, a life decision here. Um, it's something to do with your future actions, with your future life path, um, with your future focus on your own passions. And it's, it's really trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to do this? And how can I do this in the best way possible so that I can live to my highest potential? Um, and you're looking here with this hanged man at the details, um, and perhaps looking at two or three different options and, and looking at the numbers, looking at the evidence, looking at the, it's like you're a, um, a you're a, a data analysis. Uh, uh, you, you, you're analyzing the data of the situation. You're removing yourself from the heart space of it. You're moving yourself even from the ele uh, in intellectual pursuit of it. And you're saying, okay, let me look at this situation in a very practical way. What do the numbers say? Let me put some numbers together. Let me get some things down on paper to help me figure this out. Um, and I think when you do that, it's going to clarify because you have the hanged man. I think that the situation is probably forcing you to do that, that you might be of two different heart spaces. Um, the wands is about passion. It's about energy. It's about taking action. And when we don't know exactly how to take action or which kind of action is best, um, that's the passion center. So something ho is holding back your passion center or confusing it or merging it so that there's a lack of clarity with how to take action. Um, and it's, it looks like here with the queen of pentacles energy is Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy. It is looking at the details of this situation in a real way. 
like if you're trying to figure out what kind of you might have two job opportunities here and you might um, be pulled opposite ways with your heart center. You could be feeling passionate about both of them or maybe both of them um, aren't as great as you thought they were going to be, but there's still something that's going to bring in balance and equality for you. So it's, there's not one that is overruling the other. That's what I mean to say. Like they're both equal in some way. There's not one that's incredible and the other one is so-so. Like they're both sort of pulling you and, and when you're pulled in two directions, it's really hard to ever even actually move forward. So um, you're, it's like you're saying, okay, now what do the numbers say? If I can't figure this out with my heart center or with my passion center, then at least I, I can figure it out with my checkbook. <laughs> How's it going to affect my checkbook? How's it going to affect my mortgage payment? How is it going to affect my expenses? How is it, you know, it, you know, how is it going to in fact affect um, my income and my, my profit and loss statement, my balance sheet. And you're, and I, it almost feels like the queen of pentacles. You look at the details of the situation and it adds some extra points. It's like, it makes one of the choices a little bit more appealing than the other. It's, I think for many of you, this is how you solve this situation. And maybe it was important for you to see this. Maybe the universe or your spiritual team is stopping you from moving forward because there's something important here for you to realize about this, about this um, choice here that you're trying to make. There, there might be a need here to look at the details of it, to look at the details of it, the real life details, not the tiny thoughts, not, it's not the sword energy. It's not of the mind. It's like, okay, what is real life and how is it going to affect real life? And where will I be in five years in real life with my payments, with my revenue, with my income that's coming in? Where will I be in five years with this option and with this option? Right. And, and it's a very real kind of practical energy we have here with the Queen of Pentacles. That's what she does best. And she's very consistent and she's very compassionate. And the Queen of Pentacles also understands that if she's going to stay healthy, if she's going to be able to actually be successful in this, that she needs to find a solution that is going to be practical and reasonable. That's not going to send her down a path of, of self destruction, right? Where She's, she's rapidly going into something and, and making these big promises or, or stepping into a big, huge whirlwind of a situation and then, you know, swirling around in that for a while and then coming out the other side and thinking, damn, where, where the hell am I? What did I even do? What's happening to me? This isn't what I thought it was going to be. The Queen of Pentacles aspect of you, um, that part of you that is, um, able to really look at the details of a situation in a very real way is not going to let you do that. And what we see happening here is, is something that you're connecting into that's going to be very fair for you with the Six of Pentacles. So let's see what these energies are. I don't know what they are either, actually. Damn, Nine of Pentacles in the Moon. So something here that you're connecting in to it will give you this independence will not only give you independence, but will set you up into something that you're going to be financially um, reliable. You're, you're going to be sufficient. You're going to be, you're going to be stepping into something that will help you um, be independent financially and not only be independent financially, enjoy that experience. Enjoy that experience. There's something here that brings in some stability financially or stability with resources one way or another with the nine of pentacles it's next to the moon so these are almost contradictory energies it's something here that brings you a sense of independence but also it allows you to release the fear of the future something here with this nine of pentacles is quite powerful for you it's it's something that in, that helps you enjoy your experience um it it helps you be financially strong in an individual way or strong in your own choices or able to create your life path individually like you're free to experience your life um, there there's something here that's coming in that brings you the ability to um, be financially secure and enjoy the heck out of your experience and you don't know what's coming in. Like there is such a beautiful energy in these two, in these two cards. 
where you have this stability, you have this income, you have this reliability here in your financial stability, but you also have the unknown of the future. That is so interesting. You could be sing a single person. It could be a Pisces around you. Ace of Wands, something new that you're doing, new relationship with a Pisces, or even something new that you're stepping forward, a new job or something here. It's something that's real in real life. I've been getting this. It's something that with your feet on the ground, that's bringing in some sort of financial strength or individual freedom. And it's something that you feel so excited about, so passionate about. Ace of Wands, it could be a new relationship here, new passionate relationship. It could be a new creative adventure, new creative venture. It could be just taking action in such an excited, passionate way, doing something new, even though the future is unknown. Let's check into the moon. This usually is a wild card. It's usually something that is being kept hidden. I mean, if the answers came to us before we were supposed to receive them, um, that would be giving all of us an answer book. And that takes all the joy out of it. It takes everything out of it. Um, our spiritual teams really don't do that. They don't give us the big pieces. We're really supposed to connect in with that ourselves, but they will help us guide us forward into this. They will do all they can, but they do not want to give us um, the answer book, because that takes away all the empowerment. It takes away all the journey when they do that. So there's something here. Please tell us more of the moon. Ace of Swords. Damn. Two aces now over the Six of Pentacles. It's the Six of Pentacles that we're clarifying. So something's happening here that's bringing balance into your world whether it's a new job that brings more money, whether it's the knowledge and the realization that you will have enough money to pay your bills, to put some away even, uh, perhaps to go out into the community and be generous with some money or to spend some money out in the community. It's, it's also um, receiving what is due to you, right? Having a product or a service um, that you put energy out. You, you take your energy that you've created within yourself and you focus it. You focus it on something. You do something. You give to others or you make something. There's something that you are spending your energy on. And from that expenditure, you receive something, whether it's money, whether it's inspiration, it's something that you're receiving back that is equal, right? So it's fair. It feels right. You're willing to step forward in this. It feels right. And this is something here that's bringing a sense of um, empowerment, a sense of financial stability, sense of enjoyment in life, um, new action that you're taking or a new relationship that you're stepping into that's very passionate. Um, and there is an Ace of Swords here where there is no, there, there is some kind of an idea or a decision or something that's an epiphany that comes in some kind of an idea that comes in here that's that's something that's you it's you know there's a lot of circles here aren't there aren't there just a lot of circles i'm just seeing that there's just circles there's just circles there's circle here there's circles everywhere in this nine of pentacles energy there's circles in the six of pentacles energy there's a circle in the moon. There's circles in this Ace of Swords. There's even a circle in the Ace of Wands. There's a lot of circles here for some reason. I mean, if I keep thinking about all these circles, I'm going to start going around in circles and then click off. That's what's going to happen. But there's some sort of circling um, that there's a, it could just be coins. It could be just now you are, um, allowing yourself freely to think about abundance for yourself and to think about um, financial equality for yourself. And you're releasing something that's been holding you back or there's some sort of a, a decision or an epiphany or an idea that comes forward that it's not being released to you at this point. It's not ready yet for you to receive it, but we're looking at the next week or two here. So whatever this is, it's going to be coming in fairly soon. And I think you're going to be active in this. Look, the Ace of Wands is here. The Nine of Pentacles is here. The Six of these are very... Um, you do something for the Six of Pentacles. You do something for the Nine of Pentacles. You do something with the Eight of Wands, 
right? You do something with the Ace of Swords. So there's, it's, you're active in this process. It's not something that's going to just be handed to you. It's something that's going to come from you, or it's something that you're going to reach out and catch. It's something that you're going to hear and you're going to be like, that gives me a good idea. I wonder if I could do this or that, right? It's something that, that it's like it, it's, it's an epiphany or it's like your guides are shooting something into your brain or there's some kind of thought forms coming in here. Um, you could even be doing some subconscious work. You could be doing a lot of, there could be some subconscious changes within you. You could be going through um, some sort of um, energy shift and that energy shift could be bringing in some new ideas. Whatever it is, Gemini, it is good news. Whatever it is, it's good news. It's good news. All right, let's look at the Knight of Wands now. Eight of Pentacles. How did that get in the reverse? Four of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. This is so interesting. Well, I think what this is, is like a new, this is like a new, something new. This is something new. It's like you're releasing something else. You're opening up your mind. You're opening up your world. You're opening up your environment to something new coming in. So it's like you're opening up. You're no longer focusing on something from the past. You're surrendering. You're coming in from something and you're like letting loose. This is a letting loose energy. This, this could be two different people. You could have like a Sagittarius Aries Leo energy and then you could have um, you here, Gemini, with the Knight of Swords. So there could be something that you're doing with the Knight of Wands energy. Um, if this is another person, I'm going to think that this is another person. Now, this could be you, right? One of these could be your feminine energy within you and the other could be the masculine energy. Uh, it could be like that because I do sense like a more feminine energy and a more masculine energy. Um, but otherwise, this could be you here with the Knight of Swords. It doesn't matter what the feminine or masculine is. This could be you. This could be a female, very much likely. And this could be a, a masculine or this could be a male person um, with the Knight of Wands. Now, if this is a person and I'm going to consider this to be a person, it's up to you to really take these energies and put them um, in a way that it makes sense to you. But it looks like this person is going through some sort of a revival. Some they're 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 taking a step back and they're saying, you know what? I'm going to take some time. I'm going to um, separate from something that I've really been working a hard, uh, working really hard on. Um, I'm going to allow that to kind of move away from me for a while, and I'm going to take a break. And um, I feel very passionate about this, something new. This person is in some kind of passionate experience here. They're letting go. They're coming in out of... Um, something that they've been focused on and they're letting go of it and they're moving forward in this very passionate and exciting experience. Um, how does this Knight of Wands feel about Gemini? How does the Knight of Wands feel about Gemini? How does the Knight of Wands feel about Gemini? Well, the Nine of Pentacles is coming out. So this could be a single person. This person could feel like um, you really enjoy life, that you have resources around you that are sufficient, that you're financially, um, um, you, you can hold your own financially, you have personal strength, you're able to make your own choices, you just have an enjoyment of life and an independence. Um, what else does the Knight of Wands feel? Two of Swords. Four of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. So if this is a person that's around you, this Knight of Wands energy is trying to figure out um, how to really move forward, trying to see, um, figure out what the best strategy is for moving forward. This person could be wanting to hang on to you, wanting to hang on to this experience, um, understands the value of it, and is very excited about communicating and moving forward. So this person is feeling very good about this experience, is probably communicating quite a bit, is feeling really excited about this, and there's something here that they're wanting to hold on to, um, but they don't really know how, and they're, they could be quite... Um, spontaneous or quite passionate and, and, and communicating very passionately 
um, towards you very excitedly. And it doesn't have to be a romance. It can be um, a hobby. It could be friends that are planning something. Um, it could be a coworker that's really excited about a project or um, a business that you're starting with someone that you're both really super excited. Um, there could be an idea here or something that's really um uh, um, merging its way into this relationship. Uh, but, but there is something, there is some sort of strategy or, um, deciding what is the truth? What is the best way? What is the truth? There could be a stalemate here. Like, um, you guys could have a difference of opinion, but Whatever the difference of opinion is, I think this person is really wanting to hold on to this or treasure this. And there's quite a bit of passion and communication coming from the Knight of, from the Knight of Wands, which would make sense. Um, it is interesting, the Knight of Wands energy, um, it might not be used to this kind of energy. This is a very air energy, Gemini. Um, you could be somewhat confusing to them. You could be quite confusing to them with how you think and how intelligent you are. Um, how not to say they aren't, but you, you're an air sign. So, um, you're very quick on the uptake, right? You're very, you're a fast processor and they move forward, um, with the energy center. So they're much more about taking action and just getting into it and just starting it and having the experience of it. And here you are like probably might be challenging them with your ideas or your, the way you think, the way you like to find clarity and you like to plan and you like to see the truth in it. Uh, and, and you're this quick thinker and you could be um, quite exciting for them in that way. And I think that they're really trying to hold on to this and they're in their need to hold on to this. They're, they're quite passionate and communicative towards you. Um, let's look to see this Knight of Swords energy. We have a page of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. And I do feel like this is your energy. Um, but there, there could be some sort of message coming towards you though. There could be some kind of message coming towards you from the knight of wands. Um, it could be that the knight of wands is this, this could be, I, I think maybe this is a message coming towards you now that I'm getting deeper in this energy. It could be a message that's actually somewhat reliable. Like the, what, whatever this pay, uh, this knight of wands has to say, it could really be something worth considering. It could be something worth considering here. This could be someone that you're working with or somebody that you're in the relationship with definitely has something to do with the six of pentacles because see, these energies are like connected here, but whatever it is, you're seeing indications that this could truly be successful. This could truly be something. And with the seven of pentacles, it's like, it's already sort of started. Here you're moving from the six to the seven. So it's increasing in its, in its, in its stability. It's increasing in the amount of resources and the amount of tangibility that's around this. So even though this is person who is in the Knight of Wands energy, which is in a very excited, passionate energy, it doesn't mean that that's not something that's, that's stable, right? Just because it's Knight of Wands doesn't mean it's going to come in and go out, right? It could just be something um, that this person feels very passionate about and is very excited about it. And see how this person is communicating with the Knight of Swords. So this person is being very direct. I think this is coming towards you in a way that you like, Gemini. So this Knight of Wands energy is understanding how you prefer to communicate. Because look at the stability that's here with the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. This is saying like, look, I think we've got something here. I really think we've got something here. Why don't we work on this and see if we can make this to be much more successful than it already is right? It's, it's something that feels good to both of us. Let's see if we can build on this. Let's see if we can grow on this. Let's see what we can actually bring to fruition here with the seven of pentacles. I really like that we're going from the six to the seven. I really like that. And I like that the page is here that tells me that there's an increase in the strength. It tells me that there's an increase in the strength. All right. How does Gemini feel about this? How does Gemini feel about this? And then I'm going to move to the extended. How does Gemini feel about this? Two energies here. Knight, King of Swords, Ten of Cups. There you are. I think you like it. I think you're trying to see the big picture of it. You're trying to make a wise decision about it, but it really is something quite enjoyable for you. It makes you really happy. Ten of Cups, bliss, happy together, togetherness, peace, sanctuary, relief. 
happiness, joy, emotional fulfillment, inspired heart center, compassionate relief. So you are making some sort of a decision here. I think maybe um, with this King of Swords, this is your energy. I think you, you could be wanting to give this a little time. The King of Swords wants to make sure that everything is going to be good moving forward. But with the King of Swords and the emotional energy of the Ten of Cups, I think this is something that you're really going to like, Gemini. You're really going to like what this, what this Knight of Wands has to say. Damn. All right, we're going to move to the extended now. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to dig farther into the Six of Pentacles to see what we can find there. Um, I'm definitely going to dig deeper into the King of uh, the Knight of Wands to see who, what energies are behind that, and see if we can dig out more information about that. Um, we're going to look um, at what this communication is that the Knight of Wands has. See if we can get more information about that, and then we're going to dig into this King of King of Swords with the Ten of Cups. Um, after we do that, we're going to move this out until the beginning of June. Um, Gemini, for some reason, I said this for the other signs this week um, that I've done, the other air signs, that I feel like the beginning of June is something significant for many of us. So I've chosen that time to really um, do a snapshot in the extended to see where you are in that period of time. So we're going to look at the first week or two of June to see what that energy looks like for you. So that's in the extended. We're going to look at the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the communication that's coming from the Knight of Wands. We're going to look at the King of Swords, which is your energy, um, and this happiness energy that we see here. And then we'll take this situation out into the future. So that's the extended. All right, my friends, I hope this has been fun to listen to. I wish you all the best. Stay well, stay empowered. Um, Stay glorious, and we'll see you back out on YouTube in another week or so with another update for Gemini. All right, thank you.